And now, your first alert five weather. Welcome back to News 5 at 10. It's not even Thanksgiving yet, and it's starting to look a lot like Christmas in downtown Colorado Springs. The trees decorated, the snowflakes flying, somebody passed the eggnog. 21 is the current temperature with that light breeze. It feels like 10 degrees out there right now. Live look downtown Pueblo at the Riverwalk getting a little bit flaky out there. Your wind chill is 13 degrees. Easterly upslope breeze at nine, about a half an inch of snow on the ground in Manitou Springs right now. The bigger story is the cold air. That's live from Fountain. Unfortunately, with this snow, the moisture content is real low. It's a real dry snow. You could basically sneeze and blow all that stuff off the sidewalk right now. Live from Cripple Creek, that's our last stop from our network of live sky cams. A little snow up there, and the roads are slick and icy across most parts of Teller County. Here's the radar scan where you see these darker blues. That's where the snow is the heaviest right now, and it is occurring across southern El Paso County. Fountain to Hanover all the way out to Truckton. Some pretty good snows falling right now. Also a nice band of snow setting up from Pueblo West through the city all the way across the Mesa. That stretches all the way out into Otero County. You drop further south of Highway 50 and it is dry across far southern Colorado. We'll be on weather alert through tomorrow morning. It's the coldest air we've had around here in the past eight months. Just plan on a slick and icy commute tomorrow morning. Wind chills tonight and tomorrow, single digits to below zero. When it's this cold, you need to dress in layers to trap that body heat. Don't forget to cover your head. Lose a lot of heat through your head and also wear the gloves. That will help you tomorrow as you head out the door. Have a winter weather advisory active until 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, northern El Paso County. Monument into the Tri Lakes area, Black Forest out 24, Peyton, Callahan, Rama, Simla. You're going to need to slow down tomorrow if you're headed outdoors on the roads because those roads are going to be slick and icy. Here's what's going on. First cold front pushed across the area this morning. Reinforcing surge is going to backdoor across I-25, bring more light snow tonight through about 9, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Then it's all history. Not going to be a big fall of snow by any means, but from Pueblo South, it traced to maybe an inch of snow accumulating by mid-morning. Higher amounts here across the Pikes Peak region. We're going to see one to three inches across the Palmer Divide, including Monument Hill. North into the Springs, all the way to the Air Force Academy, one to two inches possible. Further south you go, the less snow you will see from downtown south. A trace to possibly an inch of snow by mid-morning tomorrow morning. You're going to have to deal with some serious wind chills tomorrow. Seven o'clock in the morning, wind chills into the single digits around here. As we move into the lunch hour, it's still going to be really cold. Look at that, four degrees. That'll be the wind chill on Monument Hill by tomorrow evening. Still dealing with single digit wind chills all across the Pikes Peak region. Pueblo 43 today, and that came around 10 this morning before that cold front rolled through. Colorado Springs, our official high today, 36. That came just after 8 o'clock this morning before that cold front rolled through. Temperatures were uh, steadily falling during the afternoon hours. Lows on the thermometer tonight, 10 in the springs, 14 degrees in Pueblo, single digits for the higher elevations. For your finally Friday, you're going to want to keep your mind occupied indoors. It is going to be frighteningly cold out there. 17 in Colorado Springs, the best we can do. Last time we had an afternoon high temperature into the teens, the 10th day of March. Yes, we'll be on weather alert. Again, allow extra time, extra room, and extra patience on that commute tomorrow morning. Untreated roads will be slick and icy. Starting real cold Saturday morning, and then starting a pattern change. It's going to be warmer and drier as we work through the weekend. Back to civilized by Sunday. Nice and warm for Thanksgiving week by Thursday. 46 degrees with dry skies. Pueblo brutally cold tomorrow, 21. That's good if you're playing blackjack, bad if you have to be outdoors. Saturday morning clear with a frosty five to get you started, then a big time warming trend. Dry skies into Thanksgiving Thursday. Warm enough on Thursday to get out and walk around the block before you get ready for that big meal. Canyon City, you will want to be indoors as much as possible tomorrow, close to that furnace vent, dry and mild for Thanksgiving week. And there's a lot to be thankful for next week after that frigid Arctic air tomorrow. Woodland Park, you'll need parkas, earmuffs, gloves, and a snow brush tomorrow. Also plenty of extra travel time on untreated roads. Don't forget we will have live team coverage of the storm starting tomorrow morning on News 5 Today. Diane? Mike,